Back in the years 2000 to 2005, I was in seminary at the Salt House of Studies in Rome, where we rented out a series of rooms from the Christian Brothers of John the Baptist de La Salle, which was a huge complex whereby we had a number of rooms and then we had a very humble basement chapel. And every year when it came time to the Easter Vigil, we would rotate. One year we would go down to St. Peter's Basilica and we would have the Easter Vigil with Pope St. John Paul II, which was always an incredibly beautiful and amazing experience. And the other year, so that we could get some practice at doing the Easter Vigil, we would have the Easter Vigil at our little humble chapel in the basement of this enormous complex. As mentioned, the liturgies at the Vatican were always incredible in their beauty and transcendence with the music and, of course, being there with the Holy Father. But one particular element of our humble basement Easter liturgies in the chapel there always stuck with me in a very great way, and that really was with the theme of Jesus Christ as the light. We weren't able to do it this evening on account of our special circumstances, but normally the Easter Vigil begins outside with a fire being lit, and from that fire the Paschal candle is lit. And in our little basement chapel, in order to get from the fire pit outside to the chapel, you had to walk through some narrow corridors with about six or seven turns. And because it was the basement and because it was dark outside, it was really pitch dark down there. And what wound up happening as the Paschal candle was going ahead of you, as soon as it turned the corner, if you were still in the other corridor, all of a sudden you were left completely in the dark and started almost feeling for the walls around you because you couldn't see where you were going. And it was quite, in a way, an unnerving experience. And so everybody was huddling up as close as they could to the Paschal candle so they could be near the light and could find their way through those narrow corridors into our basement chapel. When we had that experience, it kind of dawned on me in an extra special way that the whole image of Jesus Christ being the light is precisely the fact that Jesus is the one who shows us where it is that we're going in life namely heaven, and how it is that we can get there. And if we stay close to his light and follow close by it, it is the guarantee of our safe passage through the travails of this earth and of our earthly pilgrimage to our safety in our heavenly homeland. Of course, the greatest darkness we can experience on this earth is the darkness of death. And here too, this evening, when we look at this Paschal candle, we are reminded that the love of Jesus Christ was so great that he placed that love for its own sake, even over his own life. And in doing so, that love took on the power to overcome death. And even in the veil of darkness that death brings, this one light of Jesus Christ continues to shine and is what we celebrate every Easter. That the Lord Jesus has truly risen from the dead. He is truly the light that shines in the darkness, who shows us how we can live our life, who shows us how it is that we can safely traverse the perils of this world to arrive at our heavenly homeland. And this year in particular, with the pandemic that we are currently under, this too is a form of darkness and it reminds us again of this importance of the light of the faith in Jesus Christ to know that the Lord Jesus is the one to lead us safely and securely and that if we stay close to his light, we too will find our way to our heavenly homeland. And so my brothers and sisters, the Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. He is truly risen. Amen.